Greetings, and thank you for er, checking out my first Let's Play. I'm going for an instructional Let's Play for Minecraft um, in the Direwolf 20 Feed the Beast pack. Thank you for tuning in and uh, checking out what I have to, what I'm doing today. Now, this is uh, my first one I've done, so please be patient with me as I try to uh, go through on here. Um, but again, thank you for checking it out. Now, on here, t er, I got a fresh brand new world that I just started today that is set up with biomes of plenty turned on. I have set the size to level 5, so I got some pretty good sized biomes on here. And taking a look at where I'm starting out at, it looks like I got Maple Woods biome. Uh, much like any other er, er, Minecraft, we're going to start off by gathering some wood here. And if I remember correctly, there is nothing special about these tre trees. Now I'm going to make sure that my cheats are turned off here. Let's go ahead and gather up some wood and get started in with the first part that we need to do when it comes to Minecraft is building some tools. Now that is going to be a bit different than what we normally do with Minecraft in that we are going to be doing tools through Tinker's Construct, which you'll notice one of the things you start off with is this book right here, Materials and You. Um, if you're playing along with me, go ahead and take time to look through that book Okay, it'll give you some recipes that are not going to be located in your recipes directory under NEI. Um, give you an idea of where to go and what to do. Uh, now, we're going to need four things to start off on here. First thing, of course, being a crafting table. As something you always need. And that cow has a wizard hat. That was something else that you'll see a lot in the this uh, particular pack on here. Is various creatures having hats on their heads. Now let's go ahead and grab some sticks here. Grab. Twenty got should be a good number. And we're gonna split those and split those. And let's grab five of these. Now what I just made on here is blank patterns. You do that as you saw with the planks in one, one in each corner and stick in the other corner. As you see, we need a little more wood, so let's go ahead and grab some. And soon we'll get an axe going to actually cut down trees a little more efficiently. Now, if this is your first time messing with the Feed the Beast uh, pack, um, all the vanilla recipes are in there, there as you would know them in regular Minecraft. Oh no, Undead Luigi. Um, as you've seen them in regular Minecraft, but you, c we're not going to really be using too many of those, um, including in what you've seen before with the axe. First thing in on here that we're going to need is to make some patterns on here. Let's go ahead and make it. I did not mean to do that. Set up the tables we need. First thing, crafting table and a blank pattern. This will give us our tool station. And I'll also give you your second book, Materials and You. Next, we'll need a chest. So let's grab, grab eight and another blank pattern. And we'll, that will where we'll store our future patterns. Then we'll grab a log and that. And now we have a place to build the parts that we need. And last thing we need on here, one more table, is the stencil table, which is just a piece of wood and a pattern. Now, with the stencil table, go ahead and put that right next to your pattern chest, just like that. Grab that maple sapling, just like that. And what will happen is actually want that next to part the part builder right next to the stencil table. And what will happen is it can actually pull patterns from the pattern chest while in here, so you don't have to switch back and forth easily. Now we're mm -hmm. going to have to make some patterns. First one we're going to make is an axe axe pattern. 
looks like the sun is setting, so better make this quick. Oh. Axe head pattern. And you'll see on there it says material cost one, which means this is going to require one piece of something with an axe head. Flap this. Now we're going to go to the tool station. Hit the tool that you want to make. It'll tell you what you want on there. And you got it. You could also, while it's in here, name it if you want to. Starter. Well, at least when you create it, you can. And night has fallen, so let's go ahead and get a structure going here. At least something to start off on here. Got a nice little indention back there. I think I might use that just so we can have some privacy as we build and don't have to worry about too many monsters or anything coming to get us. that up. Let's go ahead and cover this up so nothing will fall into us. Looks like we're going to need a little bit more wood than I initially gathered, which is okay because we got the starter hatchet. Now, the nice thing about the Tinker's Construct stuff is that, uh, unlike the vanilla weapons, and even though they're a little bit more complex to build uh, than the vanilla weapons are, or, or the vanilla weapons and tools, is that you can name them and upgrade them as you go along, as well as replace or level them up and, well, and uh, repair them without using any of your levels that you have as your. Uh, Enchant that you normally reserve for chanting. The downside is you cannot enchant these using the enchanting table, which is okay because they have a much better way to improve them. Um, and I'll address that later on as we go along. There's our zombie. Now, a hatchet works pretty good as a weapon against them, so we'll go ahead and get the, these guys down. Just keep him off me as I'm trying to work. <laughs> now, one of the things on here you'll see as you play through this is they'll sometimes drop these shards of minimum. Uh, that'll be a new drop that comes only for when you directly kill something yourself. If it dies through other means, uh, you will not get those but do save them, especially starting out. On there, it will give you a uh, way of getting things later. Again, this be something else that you want to save up and stash for the time being. Don't worry too much about them right now, but you will want them later. Get them way out. Grab some excess wood here, which we'll take down. And it looks like, as I just noticed over here, we have a mystic forest with those really tall trees that are kind of blue in color. Be careful with that. Um, it would be tempting to go over there and take a look around right off, but it is a very uh, witch-heavy area. Uh, they don't. The witches in that area don't need the witch houses for them to spawn at, so they may come right after you when, when uh, given the chance. So you probably want to be pretty careful in that area. Stencil table, stencil box, part builder, tool station, and put the crafting table right there. Now we're going to need get some more parts here going. So let's go ahead and take about half of this. And we're going to be making some more blank patterns. Of course, be careful. I don't have any lighting in this area. Go ahead and fix that here in a moment. We're going to need to make an axe. Now, what order to make an axe or a pickaxe? You're going to see you need to have a head the binding and a stick. So 
Let's go ahead and get those parts going. You store your black patterns in the stencil table. Grab the head. Let's go to find a binding, and we already got a stick. So we'll go ahead and put those into the part builder. Nope. That will it'll go into the pattern chest. Grab that. Grab that. And look, it gave us a bonus stick. Now go over to the tool station. All or let's call this the starter. Pick. Ta da! And now that we have the starter pick, let's go ahead and get some stone so we can make a furnace. Oh, we got some coal down here too. That is going to save the day. I do believe I have, hopefully this is recording okay with the light as it is. I do have it turned up all the way. Let's go ahead and grab this coal right here. We need a couple pieces. give us enough for a furnace and that also one two three let's go ahead and light up this area so we can see what we got going on now one of the things you want to do as you're getting started off here is in setting up your lighting hit F7 on your keyboard and you'll see this grid show up of X's but they won't show up around lighted areas wherever these X's are is wherever a monster can spawn so you want to make sure that there are no X's the yellow X's means that there's no monsters that will spawn during the daylight but there will be monsters that spawn wherever there's a red X so you want to make sure that you eliminate the red X's is for sure Let's go ahead, now that we've got that set, oh, and i got enough for a furnace, let's go ahead and make the basic starter furnace. We're going to be replacing that pretty soon too, but that's all we need to get started here, and some light. There we go. Now, obviously, next thing we're going to need is see if we maybe find some sheep. Now, so we can come back here easily, let's go ahead and mark this, this area as our starter home. Hit the minus key or the underscore key on your keyboard and it will bring up a waypoint thing. We're going to go ahead and name this is, let's go ahead and name this spawn point so we know where we came in at. And we're going to go ahead and leave it enabled. Don't worry about the rest of the settings for now. If you want, you can change, set a particular color. And we'll go ahead and hit done and we'll come back here later. In the meantime, let's grab this cow's hat. This will give us some food, as well as a fancy hat to put on our head. And you access the hat menu by pressing the V key on the keyboard by default. And you can see, now you. Oh, it's not displaying. Might be because I'm in single player. Oh, done. There you go. And now, as you can see, your character will show up with that particular hat that you found. And this will go with just about anything you find uh, with that particular mod. It's just a fun cosmetic thing. The hats don't give you anything special. All right. And the sheep. And we got a canyon here, which will be useful in a little bit. But in the meantime, we need some mold to get a bed going too. And this cow has a head crap. Oh. He died tragically from that fall. Oh good, got some sheep down here. Now you'll also find when starting out in this is you'll find a lot of new ores that you haven't seen before. Let's go ahead and grab some stone so that we get upgraded pickaxe here. Because as you very well know would don't cut it very well. I'll also grab some coal.
Now this one here with the yellow little tinge on here, the yellow orange, is uh, copper. We're going to be needing that in a little bit, but this particular pickaxe can't pick it up. Now while the rest of this here, here cooks in the furnace, we'll go ahead and get the rest of our tools going. We're going to uh, need, again, where did that go? Ah, here it is. Let's go ahead and grab another pick head. I saw some reeds over there. Let's do something. Let's grab those wheat reeds. Now something you'll find on here with this particular mod, or with the Tinker's Construct when it comes to customizing tools, you're going to find a lot of use for paper. Um, it may not seem like a uh, typical thing on there, but it, paper makes, makes a lot of your tools very much more useful. Also a lot of unique trees over here. Now I'm not going to put any paper on the tools now, but I want to make sure I have some growing for when comes time when I get to that point. Grab some sand. Hopefully find a desert earth here soon too so we can get some cactus going. Cactus is also extremely useful too. There we go. And there we go. Meantime, let's go ahead and next step. Grab that wood binding and a stick. And just like before, wood binding and stick. Stone pick. Let's go ahead and get a shovel going too. So I don't. Ha We'll have to get a shovel pattern. Oh, there it is. Again, just stick it in there. Grab, pull out your shovel. Now, as you see, we already have a stick, so stick and shovel. We have our starter shovel. You know what? And let's put a door up here, too. I don't plan on staying, sticking around in this particular spot at, at forever. Build a larger or er, nicer looking home as we get along, but in the meantime, this is a good starting er, area to uh, get going. Now, something may have mentioned earlier, my hatchet is broken, so we're going to need to get some more wood, which I seem to be out of. Thankfully, this force seems to have plenty of it. Now, under vanilla Minecraft, once one of your weapons or tools break, you're pretty much SOL. You lost the weapon. Um, you can take it with an anvil and use uh, your levels that you've built up in, as well as raw materials to try to rebuild the item. Uh, but that can get expensive as time goes on. With Tinker's Construct, though, we have a new alternative. As you can see with my broken hatchet, we'll go ahead and head over to the tool station, stick the hatchet in the basic spot, put that in there, starter, and you'll also see some information about what's capable of and things like that. You'll see broken, not broken. Um, depending on what it is and how much durability it has will depend on how much uh, materials it takes to repair it. Later on, I'll even show you some ways to actually make weapons uh, or weapons and tools that don't need repairing at all. All right, get a chest to store what we got so far. You know what, and let's make a sword while we're down here too. 
Now sword, you'll need to have the uh, crossbar and the blade as well as your stick. So let's go ahead. Oh, there's the blade. And we're going to need some more patterns. Now you'll see a lot of, of patterns in here. We'll address more of these later as we get uh, deeper into it. Uh, into this, but in the meantime, let's work with the basics for time be time being. Wide guard pattern and blade. And I accidentally made two of those. That's okay. And now on here, you'll notice that this only needed a half a material item. So I got a stone shard. That will cut. We'll probably use that for something later. Or if I want to, I can make my a sword completely out of stone. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll stick with the basics. And there's our sword. Now, if anything attacks, we got uh, uh, some basic stuff here to take care of the bad guys. I'm just gonna get some coal and some iron. Now this should be able to pick up the copper. Mica Champ. Now this time around, I'm not going to be going too deep into ooh, the underground, just so that we get the basic items that we're going to be needing down here. I'm going to be looking for iron, copper, like I said, the basics. Also going to need some um, gravel and play here soon too um, to, for making some of the more advanced tools. Oh good, some iron. Now one of the things you may have noticed by now in the upper right hand corner is I got that mini map going on. Mini map app will give you a rough uh, idea of where to look around for uh, caves and structures and stuff that may be located around your area. As you can see, we see that canyon that I've, I discovered earlier off to the uh, distance. Now, while setting up on here for your first mining trip, one of the things, or some of the things you're going to be looking for is first, take your tool table with you. It's easy to replace in case you need it, but it you'll will be needing it it with you in case you have to repair any of your starter stuff. This way, you don't have to worry about making new ones. You can just replace it with the other ones. Of course, make sure you have have your torches with you. And we'll get into stuff like backpacks and stuff for the long trips later. But we're just going to be going for basic stuff in, in the meantime. Now, one of the neat things about this is that the basic stone or basic picks that you can build, you can right click to place a torch so you don't have to switch. Or if you have a block in that at slot, you can put the block instead. It's whatever is directly to next to that item. So keep that in mind as you're, you're going around digging in the depths of uh, wherever you may be at, because I'm sure it will come into you, some use for you. We'll go ahead and get to some digging. Now, down here, and I was digging up, up some iron, and my, my pickaxe just broke. Now this is why we bring the tool station with us. Put it down, just like before, plop it in, put in your cobblestone, pick it up, and it's good as new as again, all ready to get going. You don't have to rebuild anything all over again, you just have to repair it and get digging. Just like that. So you don't have to uh, worry about replacing in a bunch of items. And also really good once you get it at uh, the better stuff. Once you find some better stuff, uh, 
that you've built your items out of that uh, you don't have to worry about losing those uh, valuable enchants and that you really worked hard, hard to get now here we got some aluminum this is also really important material that you're going to want to get and if you, you're as you're mining pick up all of this that you can you'll be needing it to make some of the more advanced and patterns for making tools later but in the meantime again just one of those things that you want to pick up all you can of it um, another item that you're going to want and to pick up all you can is right over here quartz these quartz crystals are extremely valuable so if you ever get a fortune and pickaxe that you want use it on that and pick up all you can I will tell you again and tell you more about them later but in the meantime just gather all that you can because you're going to be needing it oh here's some other stuff on here that's it's really good to have after picking up the quartz these are earth shards they also got shards for other elements too Ooh. So these ones here go with more of the magic mod that's in here called called uh, Thumbcraft. Um, you'll be needing it for some of the various things that you build in there. Um, I'm not going to be getting too much into that time being because we're going to be focusing more on the Tinker's Construct tools. But uh, they got some really really cool things you can do with the magic tools and it was that you'll want to definitely get into so be sure to uh, collect those shards you'll be needing them as well as a bunch of other materials because the research can get expensive now this is quite a find on here these are ore berry bushes um, if you took a look at your materials and you guide it does have a page dedicated to these things but I'm going to talk a bit about them myself Orberry bushes are bushes that grow ores. Go ahead and show you here. They do need to have, have darkness is to grow. Um, minimum light level or maximum light level is 12. And the, the darker it is, the faster they grow and the faster they, they put out for you. And they give you these ore berries. Ore berries is you can take and go and put into whatever smelting method that you have, and that will give you back uh, nuggets of that particular type. So you basically, you're growing your own ores. So when you come across the ore berries, be sure to save those. You're going to want them um, later. And I'll show you some neat ways to, to uh, manage it automatically. Now it's time for another er, recipe here for you. As you notice, I am completely out of torches. I'm here after being digging for a bit. Well, I'm also out of wood. Well, what you can do on here is actually take, take some cobblestone and make sticks out of it. Or stone rods as they call them. Then, combine that with some coal, just like you would, and you get stone torches very useful old things on here indeed huh anyways this is just another thing that you can do on here to help you out as you explore in case you ever run out of something or, or basic supply or whatever like that this way you can keep on digging here whenever you need to and as you can see they're gray but otherwise they work just like your regular torch does so in case you're ever having a problem on here you're uh, stuff you, could, you have so now go, go ahead and head back to the surface as you can see I'm very full of supplies at this point and I have no idea where I'm at which is a big reason why we mark our spawn point so this way we know where we're going when we need to leave so let's go ahead and head back up and uh, see what we can make out of what we got here get some better supplies and may do a little bit of exploring to find out uh, where we need to go next Oh good, looks like our reeds are up and grown here. So we're going to go ahead and collect uh, some of those in just a moment. Let's go ahead and get back inside, stash our findings. Fortunately, didn't get enough wool to make a bed, but we'll get that up and going here in just a moment. Taking a look at the time, it's a good point to call it quits. Thank you for tuning in, and next time we'll 
take a look at things for refinement of all those materials we got on our first mining trip and putting that ref old furnace back into retirement after that. Um, maybe if we also have some time we'll look in some new ways of gathering up materials as well as uh, if there's some time left exploring and actually look for a place to put a suitable home instead of a uh, hole in the ground like we have now. Thank you again for tuning in for my first time doing Enos. I Hopefully uh, you'll come in next time, and I wish you well. Like, fave, and subscribe, and have a great day and better tomorrow.